Welcome to the Pewtube. We're back. And boy, do we have some stories for you. I'm fighting a cold and I'm losing. Well. I'm losing. Thanks for letting me know. I, I can barely talk. You didn't tell me anything. You didn't say a word about it until the camera just started. Well, don't, don't I sound sick? Mm -hmm. No. Not really. I mean, I'm having difficulty speaking. Well. Let's hope you're not having too much difficulty speaking because we're going to talk about my friend, or our friend, uh, Lucian, well, our acquaintance, <laughs> Lucian our vague, winter, remote well, acquaintance. I, I mean, I don't know how vague or remote. I mean, I got, got into a lot of trouble over this person. Um, but um, Why? He brought me uh, Sebastian Summer into my life, the filmmaker. Who's who, that? The one who robbed Patrick's iPad for, an, for a publicity stunt. Oh, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're friends. <laughs> um, those are the kind of people that Donald, the Donald Trump administration is inviting into your White House. Now, um, if you recall, he was on the pew, like in episode like, okay. 355 least, or 355. One of the least, uh, viewed, least episode. viewed episodes ever. Well, it was hard to view because it was dark and the yeah. sound quality was really bad. But um, I was very impressed by his ability to turn that shtick of his being a gay Republican into, you know, a high profile gig. Um, well, I mean, I, that's very enterprising. It is impressing and it's enterprising. I'm not surprised. He's the kind of person that would do that. Um, you know, he's one of those people. He's like a Michael Tron type. So for way. those of you who don't know who he is, he, he launched this group called Twinks for Trump and he got all this publicity over it because, you know, the mainstream media or whatever kind of media decided, Oh my God, there's, these gay twinks that are for Trump. Right. And he turned that into a gig working for some blog that decided that they wanted him to be their White House correspondent. So and he ended up in the White House. Without, they, and they must not have done any vetting whatsoever because one look at his Instagram and you'll, I mean, you know, pictures of under naked underage boys carrying my paintings and um, doing drugs and um, well, I don't know if there should be, should there be vetting to get into the White House press room? The Trump White House? I don't think so. Um, but, uh, I mean, to get into, just to get into the White House, I think there should be. I, I don't know. I think that you, having naked guys on your Instagram shouldn't disqualify you from Underage. asking the, right. <laughs> <laughs> should that disqualify you, you from asking the president a question? Carrying the painting. And it's not even the president. It's that <laughs> stupid press Secretary John yeah. Spicer. No, I know. Um, no, believe me, I'm I'm all for it. I want to sneak as many um, subversives into the uh, White well, House. Well, what possible. I what I love about uh, the fact that he was able to get into the White House press room is that like the other mainstream media people were so outraged that he was outraged. there. Outraged, you know, because they all think that they're all really serious about what they do and they think they're professionals and. They think that they're the most important journalists in the United States because they're asking the president tough questions. Right, and here's, so, and here's his club kid. So here's I mean, Twink for Trump. Page six so. has been having a field day, call, saying the club kids are running the White House, and you know, <laughs> um, club kid, um, Lucian Winterich star of Club Kid Zombie movie. Uh, with Michael Alley in, in the White House. Well, and um, they'll take any scrap and turn it into the most preposterous statement. Oh like, my God, but like you they, know, they called the near, page six was calling him, you know, before he became a White House press correspondent, he had a career in horror movies. I mean, he was in one movie. And did you, like, hear, did you read what he minutes. said? Did you read his comment about, uh, about vampires, what he said? No. He quit, um, he quit after one day because there were because of some of the more unsavory characters <laughs> that were involved in the movie, and he felt that they were far beneath him. <laughs> well, the press uh, people in the White House press room thought that Lucian was far beneath mm -hmm. them, and to the point that one of them like well, what, wait a minute, what does that put us? <laughs> well, if we're far beneath him, if they're he's far beneath them, we're like at the bottom of the barrel. Go figure. And what I thought was really funny is that one of those uh, press people, I think it's someone from either the guy from Fox News or from ABC, who the hell knows, uh, grabbed his arm and said something. It's like, you're like a racist, uh, you know, woman hating, whatever. And because he, he oh, and then he said he was accosted. Right, he was like a homophobic because he, he grabbed yeah. him like this. Yeah, and then he's announced to everybody, all the other reporters in the room, this guy is a racist, and he works for this racist blog, and none of you should talk to him. And uh, it's basically trying to like embarrass him or get him to leave the 
right. briefing room, which he did it. Well, so, and then he just went to all the newspapers and said he was accosted. In right, the, that he was gay bash. Gay bash. Yeah. <laughs> gay bash. <laughs> <laughs> so he will take every opportunity to uh, make a scandal. Well, he's an opportunist. Yeah. And of the we best, love him. the largest in magnitude, yes, and we love our Lucian Wintrich. 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 No matter how far beneath him he thinks we are. And we will be right back. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back. back to the pew 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 pew. Oh, oh, you. <laughs> no bones about it. <laughs> Thanks to Chelsea in Albuquerque who sent me these chicken bones. She sent me, it, she sent them to me in this lovely little paper coffin that she made. Isn't it cute? And she sent me these two uh, chicken bones. This one? Is that, is that like a bow tie? This is like the day one. Is it, could you wear it like a, as a bow tie? It could be a bow tie. Oh, that would be a really nice bow tie. So she sent me the day look and then this evening bone uh, that I'm going, that I turned into a face That's strap. That's interesting because usually when people send gifts, they send oh, something for you and something for me. Like when they send to me, it's always something for me and then there's something for you in there. Um, oh, here. Oh, I'll oh, throw the dog a bone. Oh, <laughs> there you go. That, ladies and gentlemen, that wasn't planned. That This is live television. <laughs> the magic of live TV. So I'm probably gonna, I just made, so I took her bones and I turned it into a face strap, which I think I'm gonna wear for the uh, opening season of Suzanne Barsh's party at Levant, which is next Tuesday. And I, I mean, I'm gonna wear this for my, um, uh, my uh, uh, for the same party, I think. Oh, so. Um, no. So, and we also got um, these lo this lovely uh, collection of, of, um, Material from uh, Emma Nicole Smith, um, her celebutante glitter bag. bags. The glitter bags, which I think would make amazing special K. Can you imagine special K that look like that? Yeah. Like all glittery like that. And the shirt's a little bit uh, big for me, um, but <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try and I'm gain some weight fit in it. And then she also sent this shirt that's a little bit small, um, the Trash uh, USA uh, shirt. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Emma. Uh, Tyler. Oh, and Tyler. Tyler. Sent me this. No, Siler. Uh, what is that? I'm sorry. Siler Ryan. Siler <laughs> Ryan. Siler Ryan. I'm like, oh, Siler. <laughs> Siler sent <laughs> us t shirts. So I got the Marilyn Manson shirt. And I got the David Bowie shirt. It's over there. Which cannot be found right cannot now. Cannot be found right now. Ernie would yell at me if I tried to go get it. <laughs> so thanks to. You folks out there that are sending us gifts. Bone fingers! Bone fingers! Yeah. That was, <laughs> was it Madonna? Was it Bone Finger? Bone Fingers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, you know, we haven't seen a lot of her hands lately, have no, we? we? Haven't. No, we haven't. been showing her hands. Wait until her next album comes out, then we'll see, be seeing a lot of her Bone Fingers. Uh, yeah, if, if she even ever puts out a new album. She's got five, she just signed a new deal for five new albums, so she's got to come out with five. Oh, okay. You know, that's an, it's, I don't understand why people put out albums anymore. Uh, well, well, who cares about she's, albums? What did, she's got, how old is she now? She's 60. She's probably 60. Okay. So, five albums, she's going to be 70 years old. Well, Somebody believes in her. Yeah, well, I mean, what does album mean at this point? I mean, who buys albums? I don't know. <laughs> Do Think you? about that, people. Do you? <laughs> See you next time. Bye.